This is the science of stupid. Warning! The stunts in this program were performed by the scientifically impaired. Do not try this stuff yourself. This is the show that combines stupidity and science in a mix so hot it'll grab you by the pants. Over the next half hour, we'll show you acts of jaw-dropping stupidity. And then we'll explain the science behind what went wrong. We'll tell you stuff you never knew about talk. And the conservation of angular momentum. Try to break the laws of science, and they'll break you. So watch in awe as Have A Go heroes from around the world learn about combustion and gravity the hard way. Yes, science will whoop you wherever you are. Welcome to the science of stupid. On this show, we'll see the consequences of misjudging your parabola. Why you should never let talk take over. And how to beat Newton's third law. But first, this. Gymnastics, not for your average guy. But that doesn't stop your average guy attempting that classic of gymnastic moves, the backflip. So, let's see one. The classic double backflip. Or backflop. So, how do you learn to backflip? First, head down to the gym and get yourself a good coach. And maybe a crash helmet. OK, backflipping is clearly best left to trained gymnasts. Here's the science behind their success. This may look like one simple movement, but it's not. There are two parts to the perfect backflip. Part one. From a solid base, he jumps straight up, using legs and arms for maximum height. Part two, now the rotation bit. He tucks his knees into his chest to accelerate the spin. It's the law of conservation of angular momentum. When you halve your length, you quadruple your spin speed. That's how the experts backflip and land safely on their feet. Failure to understand the science sees gymnasts landing on their faces instead. An altogether more painful experience. A vaulting horse? A fence? A bridge? Are these really the best places to backflip? Do something! Don't you stand up? Oh, you Gymnasts always pick a proper launch pad. That's better. A wall. Nice and solid. Unlike his front teeth. He nearly nails it. If only he'd tucked in tighter and rotated faster. Here's a backflipper who appears to love this religious building so much that he'd rather kiss the flagstones than his girlfriend. You good? But where did he go wrong? Well, for a start, look at him leaning back before jumping. He's mixed his jump up with his rotation. Doesn't tuck in, therefore, he doesn't spin enough. Oh, dude! Hence his impersonation of His Holiness. And remember, boys, backflipping is a great way to meet girls. In the law court.